Hello Watch Fam! It's been a while since my last video, it's been a hectic time in my life. But what do you have it? I've got a new haircut, I've got a few new watches to review. So today, or a while back I should say, I decided to jump on eBay again uh, to check out those um, Indian HMT kind of a Franken watches if you if you can call it that and then I stumbled across a little Oris a little vintage Oris watch from India that only costed you know about under 20 uh, US dollars I think it was 16.99 or something along those lines something really cheap and I just could not resist so I hit the buy button and uh, here we have it today we have a vintage Oris watch from India did I get scammed have I gotten scammed? I don't know. So we're going to unbox it. It didn't come in a box, but we'll unbox it and I guess give my first impressions. So we'll learn more about it, but let's roll the intro. Hello, welcome back guys. Now in front of me is, as mentioned, the Oris that I got on eBay. So I picked this up for, let me check it out, um, $21.87 Australian, but the American dollar was $16.95. Uh, I believe this is, um, I actually know it is from India, and uh, it will be very similar to the vintage HMT that I got. So um, not holding my breath, it's supposedly an Oris. I don't know if this is the case. It came in this little package. <laughs> it's all wrapped with uh, sticky tape with some sort of like uh, foam exterior wrapping. So uh, let's just jump in and see what I got myself into. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of money on this, so I'm not gonna cry if it looks fake or Franken watch. I, I, I have a very strong feeling that this is a Franken watch. Um, and for those that don't know, a Franken watch is a watch that's made up from uh, parts of different watches. So from, um, you know, watches that would be thrown out and whatnot. And uh, they just kind of stitched it together. Here is the Oris. Now, I don't know about you, but that looks really, really new. It's almost like it has been repainted. So this was supposed to be a vintage Oris, or Oris, sorry. Um, yeah, that's definitely a Franken watch. I mean, I can kind of see that they repolished it. It's got the exactly the same case as the HMT I purchased a while back. It's kind of got some rust here as well. Very, very rough um, brush on the side. The top is kind of like you know, roughly polished. Um, the dial itself, I don't know. It, did they hand paint that stuff? Let me just see if it actually won. Okay, so it is a mechanical watch. I forgot to mention it's a hand wound mechanical watch and it's already working. It feels very similar to the HMT. What I think they say that this is using a ST96 movement. Uh, if anyone has any idea um, on what that is, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Let's hit the resistance now. I can't push any further. I suspect I'll, I'll, I'll snap the mainspring if I do that. Now, let's see if it. Okay, so it's not hackable. Um, but let's move that to the pleasant. Here we go. How's that look? You know, it's not too shabby. Um, I kind of like how the 12 to 3 kind of segment has been painted white. Or um, it's a different color. I'm going to jump on the macros later on so you can see a bit of more of it. But the Oris logo, it does look kind of legit. It is painted though, so it's not applied or anything. So it can quite easily be faked. Uh, I'll be curious whether there's any loom on that. But let's let's jump into the measurement first um, and see where this bad boy brings us to. Got my trusty digital caliper zeroed out. Let's check out the case size. So it's saying 35 case diameter. The thickness, it's got a really it's got a really proud kind of acrylic uh, dome crystal though. Uh, 10.4, very thin, very thin. The lug to lug is. Drum roll, about 44, nice and wearable. Lug width is 18.3, so very, very wearable. Overall, the case, just this is just first impressions. I mean, I kind of just took it out of the box. I forgot to even mention, this leather band is substantially better than the HMT. Like, the other one was like almost falling apart. It, it did fall apart, I remember this little holder strap was fell apart. Uh, the back of it, 
It actually has a stamped Aorus. Look at that. It's stamped. Aorus Watch Co. Swiss. So stainless steel back, water resistance, shock resistance. It actually is stamped Aorus. And that kind of looks like the, the vintage Aorus logo as well. I mean, if you guys know more about it, like I've never owned an Aorus before, so I don't know too much about it. I'll probably have to research after this to do a full review. This is a first impression. And the, the this is an acrylic crystal. I can feel it. Um, Let me just quickly get the HMT to compare the two. All right, so I got the HMT. Now, it's the case is identical. The crown itself, I think it's identical as well. It's exactly the same. The dial obviously is the key differentiator and the hands. So the, the HMT has got, kind of got like baton, baton hands and then this one has like kind of like sword hands. Is that what they're called? Almost dolphin like, but it's like sword. It's, you know what it looks like? It's like the Naruto Ninja Kunai's I think it's called. Cause it's got like a little circle inside. You know, get thrown and stuff. On the back, I don't believe it's using the same case back. So I initially thought maybe they, they hand stamped this, but it's a different case back completely. However, the case is definitely the same case. It has the same feel. The brushing on the side, let me just stack it on top. You see those brushing? The brushing on the side is identical, except the Oros has like rust on it, whereas um, the HMT is more, I guess, clean, if you can call it that. I feel like the Oros is slightly more polished. The HMT is less polished. Besides that, it's basically the same case. I think it's the same crystal as well. Look at the crystal, it's identical. It, this has to be a Franken watch. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's 20, oh, sorry, 1695 US. This is 1399 US. Um, you're not really gonna get an authentic um, non-Franken Oros. Uh, vintage as well um, out of that. It's also say 17 jewels. They're both 17 jewels. This one says Parashock and this is shock proof. So uh, I presume it's the same thing. I think they're both run the exact same movement. I just don't know too much about it. Now the, the saving grace is that this strap is actually very, very supple and usable. Whereas this strap, the HMT one is actual rubbish. Like it, it's so crappy. Look at that. Oh, it's hard to. I guess it's hard for you guys to see. This is obviously fake kind of faux crocodile patterns, crocodile skin pattern, but it feels really bad on the skin as well. Whereas this one, I, it actually feels pretty nice. I do like the size of the case. I kind of just wish they polished it a little bit better. Um, should I just polish it myself? Maybe I'll just need a, what is it called? Dremel tool and then I'll do it myself. Make it look a little nicer. It's kind of like, um, is that a small crown? I guess that's a kind of small crown. It's nice to use, but it functions, you know, it is a mechanical watch and it functions as such. It's not hackable. And if it breaks, you, it, you're probably better off just throwing it in the bin. Let's just chuck on the wrist and see how it looks on my wrist. And then you can decide whether you would like to jump on eBay and look for these type of uh, Franken watches. Maybe don't get the RS one, just get the HMT. I've got this feeling this is a HMT dial and they just printed the RS on it. Um, I refuse to believe, if anyone has seen this type of Oros watch, let me know. Because it'll be pretty interesting to be able to pick up an Oros for um, 17 US dollars. Quick wristwatch check. I am wearing the Citizen Pro Master Pepsi dial that I picked up no longer. It is on a, uh, what is this, a Bon NATO strap. Uh, it's a single pass NATO strap and uh, really, really loving the look of it. It's kind of got that Tudor look, this strap. This strap was like a couple of bu bucks on AliExpress. Um, let me know if you're interested. I'll, I can do like some reviews on uh, watch straps. So that's what I have. Um, this one is much bigger than this. This is only a 35. So in comparison, this is how it will look next to each other. But I'm gonna just take this off quickly and then chuck that back on. And here you have it. You know what? It's not a bad looking watch. The strap's gonna need breaking in though, because it's, it's actually a bit more stiff than I initially thought. And I've noticed that the buckle actually says Oris, albeit that is very lightly etched. But they actually went through trouble of doing this if, if this was a Franklin watch, right? I mean, it's not a bad looking watch at all. If I was just to change the strap to something slightly nicer, it wears very well. I've got six and a quarter inch wrist. I'm wearing a little tight as you can see. So very slender. So I, I do like my um, smaller watches. This watch at 35 fits really well. Now the lugs is very, very straight and protrudes. Not protrudes, but like it sticks out quite a bit. I wish it was slightly, just like a millimeter shorter and it'll look really nice. Now it wears identical to the HMT because it is exactly the same case. So I guess what you guys kind of have to think about is what type of uh, uh, watch face you're looking for. It is a very cheap mechanical watch. If anything, it might be recommended just to buy it so that you can get yourself into mechanical watches if you're new to it, you know what I mean? 
um, you're not really gonna break the bank. If it breaks, you're not gonna lose too much money. You can buy like 10 of these bad boys, right, before um, you can even get a Seiko. Now, obviously, a Seiko is unlikely to break for many, many years to come. This one, I don't know. But, you know, it's you gotta just take it with a grain of salt. Now, I'm gonna try to crack the back open just to see what type of movement it is, and then I'll compare it to the the HMT so that we can once and for all figure out whether it is exactly, basically exactly the same watch with a different dial and hand. So uh, give me a hot second. Now this is HMT and it says HMT 174 on it. And voila, cracked it open. Took a little while, but. Wow, I, I, it's, it's different. I mean, is it different? No, hang on. It's kind of different, but it's kind of the same. Like the HMT actually looks nicer, but the Oris, this might be some history stuff I need to dig through. It actually says Swiss 17 jewels on the actual movement. Like what counterfeiters, would they counterfeit that as well? I mean, that probably needs a service. It looks really dirty in there. Imagine going to the trouble for a watch that is $16. Actually engraving Swiss 17 jewels in there. And it is hand wound, as you can see, but it's, I'm almost certain this is the same movement. It's ST96, I believe it is. It's the same movement. Unbelievable. This really deserves a, like a, a separate video just to investigate these um, Indian-made fracking watches. I think I said this before. Uh, I just need a little bit of time to do it. Um, well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to flip the camera around, have my final thoughts, and uh, see whether it's worth your time and your money. So there you have it. So that was the vintage Oris watch that I got from uh, eBay, direct from India. I'm almost 100% sure, 99.8% sure, let's put it that way, that it is a Franken watch. And uh, it's almost identical to the HMT um, watch case that I have here, uh, except it's actually a bit more rusted. So I wonder what type of cases these are. Are these like mass produced for very cheap? Cause I didn't buy this watch for that much money. I guess I'm not super annoyed <laughs> about it. Um, is it a real Oris watch? I don't think so. Should you guys check it out? Why not? You know, like it's got a very interesting movement. Um, ST96, I think it was. I did crack open as you saw in the video footage that uh, it does say Swiss uh, movement. Swiss, Swiss automatic, I think it was it. It didn't say Oris from memory. But it 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 does look like the HMT. It's a nice looking watch. I didn't. I forgot to mention the sunburst kind of um, slate gray or, or just sunburst gray dial. Um, but I did mention how it's painted from uh, twelve to three. So it it is uh, you know different. I haven't seen any dial that looks like this before. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that the dial. Um, you know, it's painted that way. But I did get look uh, get a look at the macro afterwards. On the dial itself, I mean, there's a lot of scuffs and scratches, so it probably is an old dial. On the actual case, it's also like it's a, an old case. It's not a new case that they created and then put this dial in. So um, Franken watches is basically what this is, I, I believe. The good thing is this time, the strap is actually pretty good. I mean, when I say pretty good, I mean better than the, the previous one that I got, the HMT that I got. Um, but anyways, this was the Oris Vintage watch that I got on eBay for, um, I don't know, less than 20 US dollars. I forgot off the top of my head what the number is. Should you guys check it out? Just just jump on on eBay, check it out. I reckon just buy it so that you can um, not specifically support Franken watches, but more so that you can get your fill on uh, something that's so cheap, yet it is a full handwired mechanical watch. Um, and then you can look at the, the movement, which is... Um, from the macros, it's actually really old and dirty. Um, I think there was some dirt in it, there's a bit of rust. Um, it's gonna need a service, which maybe I can just do it myself. And this is how I learn a little bit more about the intricate details of how a watch works. So that's my takeaway from it. That's what I gained. Oh yeah, when I did the loom shot, there was no loom. It looks like there was loom on the hands, but there's no loom on it. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised, let's be honest. Anyways, uh, that was the Oris Vintage Watch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like the video. And if you have any ideas what type of watch I should you know, review next or check out next, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about this watch and how I can improve my videos. Otherwise, you guys have been amazing. You guys should keep smiling and I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, peace.